Oh, so I have an undead mouse, if that's helpful. There you go. Bet you thought a mouse didn't hold that much blood. Uh, how exactly... D no, no, never mind. <laughs> Some things are best left unknown. What? Well, that's it, then. Woohoo! That's three sticks of wood, four cc's of mouse blood, glitter, stench and dribbly candles. Really? What for? For the right of Ash Kent. You, you, you said we needed it. I spent ages getting the right stuff. But, um... Ooh, I don't think so. For that one, you need to open the book, light the bell and ring the candle. Or was it light the book, open the bell and ring the candle? It, something like that. Is off you go. We need a candle, a book, and a bell. You're not serious, are you? Of course not. <laughs> I just love watching the pathos crossing your helpless little face. <laughs> I was working out if we had any of those. Come on, let's get these sticks and dribbly candles and do this Ash Kent thing, shall we? This is going to be a cutscene, isn't it? Yeah. getting viciously assaulted here. I'm hoping for an ook. Wind. Oh, good grief. I definitely agree with Rince Wind. Uh, uh, didn't quite come out as planned, did it? Who started us off on this? Mm -hmm. Look, I worked long and hard to get this stuff. Can we at least treat this ceremony with a little bit of... of... Damn it, I've lost my train of thought now. What's that word I was looking for? The, the one used for describing distinction. Um, differentiation of treatment. Repression? <laughs> no, it's not going to be repression, is it? We can't treat a ceremony with a sense of repression. Uh, the dictatorship of the proletariat? What? The dictatorship of the proletariat. <laughs> that results as an inevitable reaction against repression. Look, look, I think this would work better if everyone just got back on track. It's time we acted with a little bit of class. Class, that was it. The word was class. Uh, what word? Um... I don't know. But I'm sure it was important. What was? Yay, there he is. <laughs> How long have you been here, then? Since the banana. Will this take long? I'm on holiday. It's good here. Sun, sheep, sand. Cats with corks. No worries. I'm supposed to have a chunder in a minute. A chunder? What's a chunder? You know, I'm not sure. 
but it sounds interesting. Now look here, you. This city is in chaos. I mean, how dare you go swanning off to foreign lands while we're up to our armpits in undead? Now you, you get right back here and get back to work. Work? I don't remember any work. All I remember is a great big bang. Then an eternity of beer. And no worries, mate. Lucky blighter. <laughs> now I've had about enough of this. You, you get off that finger me, get those corks out of your hat, and... What? Now, 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 just you come back here. Oh, dear. I have a plan. Uh-oh. Oh, no. <laughs> Rinse wind, lad. Oh, dear. How wonderful to see you looking so, so well, so, so very sprightly, so very, shall we say, uh, so very mobile. You want me to go find out where death has gone? Oh, only if you don't want to spend the rest of your life staring out across a pond at all the other toads. Frogs. If you prefer. If we had a proper union like the alchemists do, I'd have a few harsh words for you. <laughs> uh, like a dictatorship of the... Uh... Oh, shut up. <laughs> Act two. Act two. Come die with me. Come die. Come die away. Hello. Call this death, do you? In my day, people knew how to die properly. Tunnels, white lights, booming voices, the choir invisible. Right, that is it. If a job's worth doing, then it's worth doing yourself in. Oik! Nice day for it. Drop dead! That was a bit mean. An undead mouse. Rather vicious undead mouse. Well, let's go and have a look at the ship. Interesting. Well, splice me timbers if it isn't a nautical seafaring metal with a yo ho ho and a deep resigned side. <laughs> arr, arr, yikes, oy, a vaster, matey -o. Oh, tis a fair sharp of wind as blows past the scud and sails, or else there ain't no evo in the sea biscuit, me blighty o. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry about that. I thought you were a sailor. A sailor? Why is that? It's the jolly cut of your nautical bell-bottomed robe. Me? I'll get sick on a wet pavement. I can't even tell the difference between port and starboard. Oh, I wouldn't know. I've only drunk port. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for that one. Oh, dear. No. Nope. I'm stumped on this one. Oh, you can't even be sarcastic? All salty sea phrases aside, do you actually sail anywhere interesting? Oh, aye, lad, aye. Four X. Say four X. We go to the sunny yeah. continent of four X. No, yeah, that's where death is. Sun, surf, sand. Sun, surf. Prawns. Sand, sun. Um, a more surf. Lots more sun, and uh, rather persistent jokes about sheep, for some reason. Yeah, well, let's forget about the sheep jokes for now. Yeah, they're rather bad. Oh, oh I wish I could, oh, believe me. Good grief! Look, can I get passage aboard your ship? Oh, can't be done, my old want-to-be shipmate. I'm only taking the living dead on this trip. 
special civic arrangement. Arr! But be a good lad and sit on Uncle Bushbeard's knee, and I'll tell him many a tale of the rolling sheep. Damn! I meant deep. No, no, that's all right. Yes, that's all right. You just go off somewhere and have a nice long drink of starboard. Hmm. A ship to far off foreign climes. That's what I need. But how on earth to get on board? So we have to pretend to be dead. So we need to be certified dead, which I think might be what Bye. some of these items are for. I think we need to break into the novelty stuff, but I don't know how. Right, so let's... Hello again. He said... Yeah, he said, what are you doing standing about here all day when the cosmos is going down the privy? Hey, I think I'm getting the hang of this. Just fancy. 20 years of school and finally you've mastered the ability to talk to a rat. <laughs> Your mother must be so very proud. <laughs> if you ever had a mother. What's that mean? <laughs> right. Oh. So we need to... Bring up luxury five star Oh, this is different. Service. Best cadaver relocation agency in Ark Morpork. Highly recommended service. Bring out your dead. No, maybe it's not. Hello again, sir. Beautiful day for it. Beautiful day? A beautiful day for what? Well, for being dead, sir. Have you considered it at all? All the advantages? Advantages? What advantages could there possibly be? Well, lower clothing bills, no more overheads for food, for winter fuel, lower rent. Lower rent? Well, the dead don't move around much. You might say that they don't need as big a set of dicks. <laughs> That's just a little Undertaker's joke, sir. I'll keep away from them if I were you. Otherwise, you'll end up a stock in trade. <laughs> so how do you transport your corpses, anyway? We have a great big galley for all that. Of course, with the dead so vigorous these days, they're only too keen to work the oars themselves. We just can't stop them. Why is that? Turns out they like sculling. <laughs> sculling with the oars. <laughs> sculling. Oars. Dead. <laughs> Get it? Just trying to inject a little humor? What'd life be like if you had no sense of humor? You tell me. <sighs> So, where do you transport your corpses? Oh, well, it used to be all mountains, you know, scenic locations. Very cold, you see, so the customers enjoyed it for longer before all their bits fell off. But you should see the place we've just found now, sir. Beaches, hats with corks, and blondes with these huge, straining, pink, oil-smeared... Yes, 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 but how do I get there? Well, you'd have to be dead, sir. Mm. We've got the entire season's passages already booked. Look, are you telling me that I have to be dead in order to qualify for tourist travel? Well, yes, sir. Right. But it's a very reasonable option. We let you take all the luggage you want. Why is that? It's all classed as carrion bags, <laughs> sir. <laughs> <laughs> um, that was just another little undertaker's joke. It's a good thing you have a captive audience. Oh, I like that one. Oh, 
Why not just tell me how to get to this holiday location of yours? Just a death certificate should do it, sir. It's the only way to tell these days. Got one, have you? No. So, you need a death certificate just to qualify for foreign travel. Yes. Hmm. In many ways, death's a small price to pay for getting out of this place and starting new lives somewhere else. Right, so let's... Look, I'm afraid I have to be somewhere else. Heading to the Undertaker's, I think. Down here. And then ask about death certificates, if we can. I assume there's someone in here now. Maybe a mortician. I wouldn't be doing that, mate. Hello! Dead. Why, come in, sir. Come in and decompose yourself. <laughs> I'm not dead, I was just being polite. Oh, come on, no, we've got to pretend to be dead. Not even a little bit dead? Not fading away? No nagging little cough or unexplained twinge or tiny touch of fever? Come now, surely you can make the effort? No. No, no. I suppose not. All the fun's going out of this business these days. Right, okay. Can't you see that this woman isn't dead? Oh. You think you are qualified to judge, do you? But she isn't dead! Just look at her! Oh, I see. Look at Mr. Expert. That's your expert opinion, is it? An expert in being alive, then. Actually, for Rincewind, yes. Oh, yes. <sighs> I suppose everyone is. That's the problem with this job. There's no way of gaining any respect. Right. Question. What is it that you do, exactly? Well, I issue all the death certificates, make sure they're really dead, that sort of thing. We can't have people being buried alive, you know? Buried alive. I should certainly say not. Buried alive. Yes, they'd be held to pay at the graveyard. All the undead would be on me like a shot. Live bodies in a dead-only area. Wrongful zoning of designated areas, the lot. Very touchy lot, the undead. What have they got to be snobby about? Been there a long time, you see. They're getting very touchy with this epidemic and everything. When you've got yourself a nice grave, good view, patio and barbecue pit, well, you get a bit iffy when a lot of newcomers suddenly turn up. Only to be expected. 